Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, we'll show you when and how to load the control the recipient tree. The when is easy. You have to reload the recipient tree every time you make an update to it using the T option from the IOA primary menu. Let me show you an example. Let's access the recipient tree menu by selecting option T. Hit enter. Now we're going to create a practically a copy of the recipient RDC RFC, but this time we are going to call it INV user. PF3, PF3, and save. Let's check out what happens when you try to use the recipient before you're able to reload the recipient tree. If you go to equals U and plug in the user, INV user, and hit enter, you will see that control D will act like the recipient has not been defined. And if you try to do the same action in control D web access by using the filters menu, put in INV user and click apply, you will get practically the same result that the CTD31E on the recipient. That means control D does not recognize the recipient. Now that we know we have to reload the recipient tree whenever we make an update, let's take a quick look at the commands or actions we need to perform to reload the recipient tree. For IOA ISPF users, we only need to exit and re-enter the use screen. For users of control D with web access, we need to modify IOA gate with a mod ASID comma load tree. For users accessing control D via CICS, VTAM, IMS, you need to issue a modify command against IOA OMON, comma load tree. And for the control D decolation monitor, you need to issue a modify control D, comma load tree as well. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this. If we go back to our U screen, all we need to do is exit the U screen, go back in, and now when we try to use INV user again, it now comes up with the active list for our INV user. Now let's go ahead and reload the tree for control e web access. If you remember, we need to issue command modify IOA gate, comma, mod ASID, comma, load tree. But we have to give it the correct IOA gate started task. The IOA gate started task we're using for this example is I90QGATD. Let's go ahead and enter the command. If you go into the log, you will see that that started task would have messages indicating that the recipient tree has been reloaded. Let's go ahead and see what effect that reload of the Control D Web Access tree has on our Control D Web Access session. If we go back to Control D Web Access and now use the recipient INV user again, click Apply. You will see that as before we get an error, now it gives us the report lists that are available for user INV user. Now let's go ahead and issue the other commands for IOA Elmon and Control D. If we go back to the DA screen here, we see that our IOA Elmon is I90Q Elmon, so we'll issue slash F I90Q Elmon, comma load tree. Hit enter. And if you look at the Q Elmon messages, you will see that the control D recipient tree has been reloaded there. Just want to remind you at this point that the IOA OMON is sometimes named CTD OMON for control D installations. Now let's go ahead and reload the tree for the control D decolation monitor. Just need to know the decolation monitor name. In this case, it would be D90Q MON. And so we can issue the command D90Q MON comma load tree to reload the tree 
for our decollation monitor. Now, if we take a look at the latest messages for our decollation monitor, you would see that the recipient tree has been loaded. That concludes our video. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.